All right, boys and girls, let's whip up a little heater shake for the road. So we're starting out with about two cups of ice. Anytime you see it up to the two level mark, hey, it's gonna be a monster shake, baby. But we got a monster appetite. So we're gonna add a little unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I like to go about, I don't want the ice completely covered, but I want it getting pretty close, maybe three quarter of the way. That's like optimum viscosity, baby. That's what we're going after. So we're gonna combine a few different flavors here, guys. You know, we've got a crazy flavor profile anyway, but it don't matter. You can put whatever you want in there. You wanna make it a berry type of smoothie. You wanna make it a chocolatey. Hey, make whatever you want. It don't matter. You can mix fruity pebbles and chocolate protein powder. Hey, no problem. That still tastes good too, but this is what we have on hand. And uh, I got a, got to tell my boy Peyton and Bowling Green send me some more protein down to Florida. Because that's the last scoop of that bad boy. All right. So that's like a cookies and cream vibe. And I like to do about, you know, 10, 10 to 20 grams of collagen a day. Feels pretty good on the joints. As you can see, the hair is growing nicely as well. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that beard hair is be looking fresh, though, ain't it? <laughs> anyway, we're going to put one scoop, which is 10 grams. I got this off of Amazon or something. Whatever collagen works. I'm actually thinking about coming out with a collagen one of these days for my company, T-Fuel, because I use it all the time. So, you know, the products that I make, I use every single day. I use the fiber greens every single day. I use the pre-EAA every single day. And, uh, you know, eventually I want to get to where all these products sitting up here are mine, you know, because I, I take pride in my products and what I bring to the table. I know it's going to be quality, you know, and yeah, I'm buying thousands of units at a time. So I'm going to get it at a better deal than what I would be paying on Amazon or somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? So selfishly for me, but you get the benefit as well. So there's that. Next, I love some peanut butter flavor, baby. So I'm trying to drop a few pounds, stay in acting shape. So I want to have abs all year. When they start to get a little fluffy, then what do we do? We got to drop a few cows or we got to walk a little more. So I'm switching over to the PB2. I don't measure it, but I just do a little bit. A good little bit. And guys, if y'all are on a diet or anything, then you can get your spoon out and you can measure. But I kind of know what I do every day. And if I need to lean up, I know that, hey, let's we'll start chipping away at those calories over the day. Maybe little smaller portions. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we're going with a little smaller banana. Because, like I said, I got the... Some food challenges coming up later this week that are going to be ridiculous. Like maybe a whole McDonald's breakfast menu might do that. Uh, got a pancake challenge with a guy that was in Olympia coming up soon. So there you go. Small nanner today. Let's get moving. And that's what my friends would call perfect. Look at the smooth consistency on that, baby. So grab your fault, your favorite tall boy here. Let's fill her on up. Look at that. That's a smoothie to brag about right there, baby. It's thick. You're going to need a straw for that thing or a spoon or something. But I got to drive to St. Petersburg today to train a client so be uh rolling on towards the beach here in a second and this might melt a little bit it might turn into a good little milkshake mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. Just like that, guys. Minimal carbs, high protein, different protein sources, low calorie, high protein drink. Anytime you need a little meal replacement, throw that in. I've already had two meals today, and this is just kind of like a tweener before I work out. So it's light on the stomach. It tastes freaking good, and look how much volume. If you want to make it smaller, make it smaller. I got a big stomach, so I got to fill it up. I just applied for the uh, World Pistachio Eating Championship next month. And then the uh, Chicken Wing Championship is like a week after that, Miami. So I'm trying to trying to figure out if we're going to bust it into uh, competitive eating gear early this year or uh, wait for some qualifiers to make it to Nathan's. We'll see. As far as bodybuilding, hey, my lifestyle is bodybuilding. I love it. it. You know, it's hard for me to take a break from the gym, but I'll do it every now and then. I'll do it every now and then. You got to listen to your body, guys. I'm going to hit the road. It's been good talking to y'all. If you want a discount on your next T-Fuel order, enter code TITAN10 at checkout. Uh, check out the Titan Starter Pack. It's the best deal that you're going to get. You're going to get this. The fiber greens, a T Fuel bandana, a T Fuel water bottle, and free shipping. Great deal. I think it's like 140 bucks. So check it out, guys. TFuelSubs.com. I appreciate you all for following. If you need help getting in shape, shoot me a DM and I'll direct you to where I'm running the workouts for the next few months. So it's going to be awesome, guys. God bless. See you soon. And listen, one more thing. I know I don't normally put bananas in smoothies, but I'm about half monkey anyway, I believe. I'm starting to look like one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but listen, a small banana is a small amount of carbs, maybe 15. Listen, I've never heard somebody saying they couldn't get in shape because they eat too much fruit. Like how many, how many people on that 600 pound life do you see just sitting around eating blueberries all day? And that's the sweetest one. They ain't doing that. They ain't wasting time with that. And uh, don't forget, fruits are important too. You know, when I'm contest dieting, I might not get in enough. Just because I'm going lower calorie and I'm having to cut them out. So in the off season... Especially here the past few years, I've just realized the importance of balance and and getting in everything that you're supposed to eat. You know, I love to eat, so you don't have to beg me. So, just want to check in with you guys and say, hey, look, if we had to count the macros, it was probably 30 grams of protein, a uh, couple grams of fat in that powder and uh, maybe 15 carbs and a little bitty banana like that. I usually say full bananas about 27 to 30. So, you know, hey, that's a solid little meal replacement, guys. Explore your options. If you need help, let's get a custom diet. DM me how to. I got a, got a secret, secret link for you guys, something I just now partnered up with, so. Hit me up.